Welcome to Monday, August the 3rd. I'm Pastor Jim Krieger from Holy Cross Lutheran Church and School in Saginaw, Michigan, celebrating the precious promises of God's Holy Word with you in our daily devotion. The Word of God today from Psalm 119, verse 105. Your Word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Because of the reality of sin, and the evidence is all around us every day, we see a world filled with its obvious power and its many consequences. From broken relationships to rampant illness and disease, suffering and death, along with all form of natural disasters and catastrophes, to the all too often acts of violence and killing, and the events of personal suffering that is beyond our ability to number that we see around us. Where can we turn in the face of daily suffering and the constant challenges that test our patience and our hope? Where else, indeed, but the Word of God? In Psalm 119, verse 105, we are given a beautiful promise and an eternal truth. The Word of God is a lamp to our feet and a light for our path. It is the light that guides us through the darkness of each day in this sinful world. And it is a constant source of hope and strength when it is often too easy to become lost in the reality of sin and its many consequences. The teachings and the promises contained in the Bible continue to teach us and keep us in a way that walks that path of a, rel of a right relationship with God especially at those times when we are tempted and often stray off the narrow road of righteousness and enter the road that is wide and heavily traveled with the effects of sin and chaos. The Word of God is an inextinguishable lamp that guides us along the path of God's perfect will for us a radiant light that provides encouragement by replacing the shadows of uncertainty with our Heavenly Father's comforting truths and the peace that our Father provides us through faith in His Son, Jesus. Opening the Holy Scriptures often and studying the many revelations our Father provides on its many pages brightens the path we travel, guides us as we navigate the reality of temptation and sin every day, and grows our hope in the promises that point us to new life in Jesus. The Bible is the sure and living word from God our Father, who has told us from the very beginning that we would do well to meditate on its words, to heed its warnings, and follow in God's commands, so that we are blessed each of our days as obedient and forgiven children of God. To use the language many of us grew up with in the church, especially in times of prayer around the Word of God, we would do well each day to read, mark, learn, and inwardly digest the contents of the Bible, the very Word of God, and guard it in our own hearts as a lamp to our feet, a light for our path, an instrument from God to lead us in holy lives and strengthen us each day to walk on the path that He sets our feet to travel the path of His will, of His presence, of His promises, 
and always of the assurance of his unconditional love. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your written word, which daily provides me with all the strength I need and hope for every tomorrow. As I step out today into the darkness of this sin-filled and sin-fallen world, it is my prayer that your word would truly lighten my way and guide me in your path of righteousness. Help me to keep its truths in my heart and to always be ready and willing to share those truths and the hope and strength they provide with others who I see face the same challenges and difficulties and trials in their life as I do. Thank you, loving Heavenly Father, for your word of light and truth during this temporary journey in a dark, sin-filled world. How I long for the day when I will be with you and all those who have gone before me in faith in the mansions of heaven. But I know even now in this day, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light for my path. All of this I pray in the precious name of my Savior Jesus, who taught me to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you and in the precious name of Jesus give you his peace. Remember and celebrate today. God's word is a lamp to your feet. God's word is a light for your path.